Bennett's number one hip-hop station, Hot 7 I Miss Shanika right here with Bianca Bunny from Love & Hip Hop New York. Hey. Is that what you go by now, Bianca yes. Bunny? Bonnie, like Bonnie. Bonnie. Yeah, Bonnie. I'm just country mm -hmm. girl. It's alright. <laughs> it probably sounded like I was saying buddy, buddy, <laughs> Bonnie. <laughs> All right, so yeah, you're not young B anymore from no. Chicken. You have broke the mold. Yes. It's been like nine years. Yes, it's been nine years since Chicken Noodle Soup. Wow. Oh, 10th. July May t a decade. Really? This July that just passed. That song yeah. did good for you, huh? Yeah, definitely. Right. Yeah. So now you're on uh, Love & Hip Hop New York. How yeah. was that <laughs> experience for you? I mean, um, I'm on this season too, so it's okay. going to be my second season. But um, the experience is dope. Like, it's different from the music world because it's, it's like film. Film is totally different. It's just a new experience and I love doing it. Did you have to get used to all the cameras? Um, at first that it's like nerve-wracking. It's nerve-wracking, but once you start doing it, you can't even notice the cameras. Oh. Like once you're in it, sometimes the cameras they're there, but you like it's they in the cut. Like right. it's not just like right in your face directly like you could see. Sometimes you d face in a different way and then the cameras are filming, so you get naturally like used to it. Okay. All right, so, you know, we're going to talk about the music in just okay. a few minutes. So, can we expect, because I have seen different, you know, sexier images right. of you trying to say, are we going to see a love interest possibly uh -huh. in your season two of Love & Hip Hop New York? I can't really talk about it. Yeah, I got to watch it. But you blushing, though. <laughs> Nah, I'm always blushing. I'm always okay. smiling, but no, um, yeah, I can't talk about it. Just watch it and see. Okay. That's all I can say. So it's coming up after the Love & Hip Hop Hollywood. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Have you yeah. checked that out? Yes, I, I keep up with the whole, <laughs> the whole Love & Hip Hop. Franchise. Whole thing, yeah. Okay. All right. So, um, as of right now, you have this mixtape out, right? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I didn't really label it as a mixtape. Okay. But I guess that's what they call it. New I'm, music out. Yeah, I'm just calling, I just keep saying it's a project because I didn't want to put it as a mixtape format. I made it more of an album. And I think it has more songs than an EP. So, I made it more like an album. So, I'm just saying, like, my new project. Like it's out. Yeah, definitely. The ninth year is dope. You could download it on any social media platform, any website that you could download a mixtape off of. Right. It's on there. Yeah. All right. So I didn't get a chance to listen to what you song would to. you oh recommend it recommend to me like immediately? What song would I need to listen to? So I don't know your life. I don't All know right. So if you have a husband or somebody you love, I have a fiance, fiance. and I'm getting older, but I love to party. Right. Love and to sometimes I be like. F them B words and right. you know all that. Well, so really <laughs> that's me in a nutshell. You can listen to the whole project and love it. It don't even matter if you have a fiance or you marry. Like um, because most of my music is like, it's 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 getting back at the guys. You know, all, all the music now is really the guys saying, you know, these girls is for everybody and right. you know stuff like that. So it's me just really talking back these in my right exactly. So in this generation, like I'm speaking up. For my age group, you know, and I mean, all ages can listen to it. It's just good, feel good, like you can vibe out to it. Music, like okay. it's, it's like it got some turned up songs on there, but I made it more like melodic. It's just dope. Like you definitely know, listen to it. I'm not I saying it just because it's me. I'm going to not just because it's me, but it's really a good project, and I haven't got any negative feedback. And you know, it's a lot of haters. Oh, like yeah. I haven't got. I got all fire emoji signs on okay. every time somebody sends it to me. So that's what's up. That's a blessing right there. Yeah, definitely. I put a lot of hard work into it, so I'm just appreciative. Okay, so overnight, <laughs> I seen different images of you and how do you pronounce his name? Rod, Rod, Rodney, Rotem. Oh, don't get me started, honey. From Power, <laughs> and I'm like, you better work, girl. <laughs> All right, so what song was this video for? It's steamy. <laughs> um, MVP, that's actually Yandy's favorite record. Okay. MVP is a song on a project. I had nine songs on a project because that's I named it the ninth year. I wanted to do nine songs. And that actually was a bonus record. So it came out to number 10, and I asked him to get on the remix. He loved the song, and he wanted to get on it. And we wanted to make the video more like a... Bonnie and Clyde thing, you know, like right. it's like just showing the song is about that's what you, this is the song you would probably love. Okay, 
because it's like a woman holding her man down, ride or die, and she's the real MVP. Like, it okay. doesn't matter who you with or who you talk to, I'm gone. I'm, I'm the number right. one. Right. Yes. So, that was with the video. We made it, like, more of a story. So, he's in it. Yes. And it is, like, steamy and hot. So, it's like you doing a little acting yes. in it and all yes. that. Yes. Yes. He's a great actor. So, I just, like, kind of it rubbed off a little bit. Okay, yeah, girl, I seen his muscles and stuff <laughs> popping out. I was like, okay, I didn't know you had all that. Had see your sexy, you know, power yet. <laughs> all right, well, um, let's see, what else are you working on besides this project? I know you pushing it, going to different cities. Right. What, what else um, do you well, have coming? Yeah, definitely this project is out now. It took a long time for me to get it out, but now I, I rather the quality over quantity. Right. So, but I'm already in the works on my new mixtape coming out, High Profile Volume 1, and that's going to be a mixtape. Like, that's not going to be, like, a project. Like, 10 songs. I want to do, like, 15 songs. I want to get a big DJ, probably a few different DJs. But, yeah, so I'm working on that. A lot of visuals for the fans because they only know me, really, from Chicken Noodle Soup. Right. And since I'm different i'm older now i'm grown like you know what i'm saying i want people to see the new image the new me and they could get to feel that through the music and through the visuals so we're working on a bunch of visuals i'm shooting another video i think in the next month or so for the song it's whatever off the project and that's what i'm really just trying to stay consistent you know and just feed the people with good music like i'm just making beautiful music for a sad world Okay, I know that's right. <laughs> so have you got into, you know, the selling of products and all of that, you know? Um, definitely. I um, am sponsoring a hairline, Hair So Fab. I'm one of the ambassadors for the hair. And, um, yeah, I turned my hair. Clearly, you got all the hair. Yeah. I just seen your hair Yes, white. definitely. Hair So <laughs> Fab. You can actually enter code Bianca B, you know, for special discounts. And um, I'm just working on becoming flawless and branding myself and just this new artist, you know, just getting away from. It's not like I could ever get away from Chicken Noodle Soup. Right. But just people don't won't say, oh, you're a one-hit wonder or whatever. You know, that stigma. Right. Because I'm bigger than that. Like, I write music. I actually entertain. I'm a dancer, you know. So I'm more than just, oh, the Chicken noodle soup girl like people don't really know the industry that's on the outside looking in they just think oh you did one song and then now you know where but you don't know the behind the scenes of what happened so i think i'm i'm also going to work on like a documentary so oh, people yeah. can really see you know love and hip-hop i'm on that show now but it doesn't show what happened in the process of me getting on the show like how you went from chick noodle soup to being gone for this long to being on one of the biggest shows and now coming back you know like so i'm gonna give them what was missing all right now once again tell them how they can get your brand new music that you just dropped well the ninth year is on every single like if you just type in the ninth year it's gonna pop up like bianca bonnie the ninth year all my social media is bianca is king and yeah you definitely could just they could follow me on instagram follow me on snap you know i try to uh reach out to as much as my fans as possible because i love the feedback like even the haters i love receiving the feedback to see what's going Ooh, that's on that's hard to love girl. i I'm do though i embrace the hate like okay. i mean i've been i've got it for so long that it doesn't even affect me it's like okay they said my hair looks stupid let me see if it does it look stupid like let me fix it up then all right uh that they said that outfit looked crazy on me uh all right next outfit like I just I I fix whatever I feel is not right. You know, ten Indians can't be wrong. Right. So I've throughout the years I've been perfecting and and getting better and better at what I do and perfecting my craft. All right. Well, thank you, Miss Bianca no, you Bonnie, and welcome back. Yes, yes. The A. I'm always in the A. My family is down here. Latoya, you know James. We down here working, bonded forever, you know. I'm on a grind, so I'm in every city hitting it up. And I love coming to Hot 107.9. Like, y'all embrace me. Atlanta shows so much love. You know, I'm from New York. We gritty into ourselves. Like, everybody's like, oh, uptight. When you come down here, you feel like... In Atlanta, they more, like, hey, yes. yeah. yeah, you feel more <laughs> the love down here. So, I really love it down here. All right. Thank you so much, ATL, Miss Bianca Bonnie. Y'all pick up her new music. And um, I'm sure she'll be back when the love the hip hop show comes back on. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's Atlanta's number one hip hop station. It's out when it's seven nine. Thank you.